Welcome on in to the podcast, everyone. I am the assassin of the slave mind, in the personification of personality, the executioner. And if you don't know, now you know. And off here to my left is my esteemed co-host, Violent Sal, with the silent B, Mr. Salvador Sanchez. What's going on, Chris? And what's going on, everybody? You're listening to another episode of... Good times. That's right. This is the Good Times Podcast, the best podcast on this side of the Arctic Wall. This side of the Arctic Wall? This side or that side. Oh. Any side. Oh, yeah. That's getting my juices flowing. Ooh. Let's talk a little bit about what the Arctic Wall. What kind of juices? Wall. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't prepared for that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Did y'all know there was an Arctic Wall? Ooh. Ooh. But it's melting. Ah. <laughs> Shucky ducky quack. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Booker T for making it back to a commentary. Oh, he's back. <laughs> and he's black. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, man? Oh, uh, not too much. Just uh, been chilling. I, I know we've, uh, for those of you who don't know, we've been a few podcasts ahead. So it's like we kind of have a little bit of a leeway and stuff like that. So uh, we leeway on leeway, the freeway. Leeway on the freeway. So things have been good for me, just uh, chilling, living the life, doing the thing thing. You know what I'm saying, saying? Um, how about you? I know um, your um, <laughs> your wife is back from South Korea. Yeah, she uh, <laughs> she got her flight from South Korea, and uh, it's just a little while until she's uh, on her next adventure, her next deployment. Yeah. And uh, that one's going to be uh, in Argentina. Oh, Argentina. Yeah, okay, so, nice. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy, man, but it's good to have her back, and... Uh, you know the dogs are pretty happy too. I which bet is good, the dogs so. are fucking happy. Yeah, jumping all over the place, and so I'm leaving. I'm leaving her to uh, the dog duties for now. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. I mean, I was like, hey, I I've been enduring it for yeah. a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, it's your turn. You can you can feed them, pick up dog shit, and whatever, exactly. and do whatever. So yeah, and you're supposed to enjoy that stuff after you come back. You know. Yeah. But but the but the real question is is like when you're at war for so long, like how is her mental health? <laughs> Oh, I mean, it, it's pretty good, but I mean, I'm sure there's there's some stuff that uh, I don't know, I don't know if traumatizes the right word, but like affects you. You know sure, what I mean? Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Plenty, I'm sure. Plenty. A lot, a lot of high stuff. Table of plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking church songs. Oh my goodness. So, um, well, let's just get right into it. Yeah, let's get right into uh, it. For those of you that heard two episodes ago, I talked a lot of shit on anime people collectors oh, and all that stuff oh man and let me just say i got a lot of heat for it oh man <laughs> i got a lot of heat from different collectors uh we had a uh, our resident black dude that listens to the show <laughs> Ar- archie archie yeah he messaged archie me as soon as he listened to it. early in the morning too <clears throat> always early in the morning he messaged me he's like hey man i love anime <laughs> i love that shit and whatever i love marvel oh, and man. i was just like Hey man, you know, you know, whatever floats your boat, you know. Yeah. I mean, like, hey, I like Marvel too. It's just I don't like them as much anymore. Yeah, you yeah. know. And then uh, I got somebody that hit me up about uh, talking shit on collecting Funko Pops. Oh shit! You know the bobbleless bobbleheads. Bob- they're just bobbleheads with that no bobble. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they were like, "Hey man, I have a whole collection of that and whatever." <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, like, if I walked into their house, they have a bookshelf full of that shit. Probably. Oh my god! Collecting dust. Yeah, you yeah. know, and uh, the crazy part is, is if you remember, we talked about James having all the wrestling toys. Yeah, yeah. And he collects them, but at the same time, he plays with them. Right. Well, he took the sound from that podcast, mm-hmm. and he made a reel on Instagram where he shows all of the toys that he has. But he shows also him and his daughters playing with the toys. Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. It was. It was like super dope. Like I think he posted at like three in the morning or something, and I was still awake. And I remember going and looking, and I was like, "Yo, this is good." Like he did a great job. So shout out to Long Leg Daddy O. Yeah. Like yo, 
because by the time this comes out, you're all going to hear them by by then, like mm-hmm. on the previous podcast, on the Fatal Four Way podcast. But yo, shout out to him for that TikTok, cause or or whatever the fuck it is. Like that thing was dope. It was super yeah. fucking cool. Yeah, it was really good. And I was surprised that he even did it. I remember him mentioning that like, he's like, "Oh yeah, that'd be a great sound to use, whatever." And then he ended up doing it. So. Well, he he hit me up last night, I believe, and and asked me to send him the podcast, like okay. the podcast file, so that he can you know do oh, the cut thing. It out? thing. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, "Yo, that's cool." So I was I kind of figured he was gonna do something. I just didn't know which part. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was gonna do the the part where I was talking about him going and getting Batista and then walking over, <laughs> and then they said they can't do it, so he puts it in a different box. I bet you he'll do that one too. Yeah, but we'll see. I mean, by the time yeah, this comes out, you never shit, know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you caught a lot of heat for that uh, for that anime shit, man. Like, yeah, and you know what? It's it's heat I gladly accept <laughs> <laughs> because somebody's got to do it. In the middle of drinking over here, yeah, <laughs> somebody's got to do it. Yeah. So, I hear it, and it's funny because I feel like I'm like the uh, I feel like I'm just a sidekick that's just agreeing with you, yeah. And then uh, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I don't want to get that heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, let's talk shit on fandom again. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> because uh, here's another part of fandom that I oh, have a, 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 a big gripe with. Okay. Fan pages on Instagram. Fan pages on Instagram. Oh, there are accounts that oh, are so like dedicated only to one character or a certain person or actress or sure. whatever, and they post nothing but pictures from the real person's account, and they just say things like "Oh my god, I can't believe how good they looked in this <laughs> dress." Yeah, or "I wish they would have this look again. It was so awesome." Or there was one that I saw. I finally got to meet them this past Saturday. They were so cool, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my god! And just totally going off. And another one was like, oh, I swear, they were the best fucking Wonder Woman or Cat (laughs) cat Woman ever. They should bring them back again. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I see this a lot with, like, either Marvel or, like, DC people. But I see it a lot with wrestling pages. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There'll be a whole like page because the one I saw that like sparked all this, uh-huh. Liv Morgan, oh. current women's champion. Yeah, she's a blonde girl, looks pretty cute. She looks like a typical like gamer girl right now. Sure, right? sure. This page was dedicated solely to her. Jeez. Just nine hundred pictures of her. Nine hundred. You know, just from her account or somebody else's account that yeah. happens to tag her in there. Yeah. And the sad part is. It's a lot of dudes that run these accounts. Listen, there's a lot of weird people out there, but I think a fan page run is kind of, unless there's like a business purpose behind it. Yeah. Because listen, if you're smart enough to start a fan page, get a shit ton of followers because of a celebrity, and then you sell that account and you move on, do it again, but with somebody else or even with the same person, Mm. great. You know, do that. But I think you're kind of getting to the point where you're almost in the obsession range. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. To where it comes to that, where like you literally wake up and you're like, oh, I wonder what uh, Liv Morgan's doing today, you know? Like, oh, let me check her location or yeah. something. You know what I mean? Like something like that. And these people aren't selling their accounts. Like you can tell because they have underneath their comments or whatever, promoted on reality records, <laughs> you know, or something <laughs> stupid like that. The The same people that like, uh, put a comment of their account under every like hashtag. Yeah, ever, exactly. Right? And you know that these dudes have nothing going on. Nothing, absolutely fucking like nothing. nothing at all. And it's funny that you brought that up because literally tw- it says twenty four hours ago, um, I got a like on a post on my Instagram from October twenty fifth, two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirteen. Huh? What the hell? Nine years ago, and it's a picture of jeff hardy's necklace okay (laughs) and it says jeff hardy will be seeing macho man tonight um and i think um i think it had to do with something that you me and james were doing or something i think oh that was when we had that um that was that the halloween party the halloween party yeah that was back in the day day the only time that hulk hogan fought jeff hardy yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's right i remember the gut wrench it was a good one too yeah but man, we had everybody thinking you died. Oh yeah, hell yeah. We, yeah, we, we gave a, it was a good one. That oh, was yeah. for sure. 
People were like, oh, I mean, Hulk Hogan okay. made it look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so I got, a, I had a random like, and I'm like, who the fuck is this person? So I go and I look, and it's a Jeff Hardy fandom page. Oh my god, that's so funny that you mentioned. Literally, like 24 hours ago. It yeah, says, uh, kerosene by Smo. That's literally the guy's name, aka Jeff Hardy. <laughs> and it's just all Jeff Hardy stuff, like. Yeah, dude, I told you, like, those fan pages are just fucking weird. Yeah. Um, and it's not even just, you know, like, okay, the wrestling ones go pretty hardcore, but, like, the Marvel ones, dude, they're like, oh, Scarlet Witch this, or what's her what's her real name? Um, Scarlet Johansson? Scarlet Johansson, that's the girl's thing, Black oh, Widow. Gotcha. Yeah. Dude, the funniest thing I've ever seen from uh, the Black Widow was she was doing some Avengers signing, like, on the red carpet, right? Uh-huh. Some dude handed her a photo of herself... This dude cummed on the picture and was trying to get her to sign it. What? Yeah. What the fuck? And dude, fuck? It, the crazy part is the cum looked fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, is this dude just jacking it in the crowd? No and way. And like, he's... Okay, first of all, that's pretty much skill. If you're able to be like, <laughs> oh, she's coming. <laughs> oh, and so am I. <laughs> Shoot it all over the fucking picture and then hand it to her. And she's like, oh my God. That's insane. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, the only way that he could have done that is um, with Skeet Cup, honestly. Like, let's be honest. Like, <laughs> the shout discreet out to Skeet a, Cup. Discreet Skeet, the one that hasn't come out yet. Yeah. You know, our patented product that has yet to come out. Trademark. <laughs> yeah. But thanks to Skeet Cup, he was able to skeet in the crowd, mm-hmm. right on the thing with discreetly. not anybody knowing. Yeah, discreetly. And then get the picture signed. Well, almost. I wonder if he did get it signed. That'd be great. Uh, I don't, there's no way. He's all, sign my cum. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome dude oh man i don't know if she would have did it would you have done it if some guy came up to you with a picture of jizz on your face well i don't know <laughs> you might have to like at least applaud for the effort right like yeah you'd be like i don't know man i'd be weirded out not gonna lie yeah i'd be like what the fuck yeah i mean that would be pretty weird <laughs> damn but okay so to to get some more heat on on uh, the fandom and shit like that <laughs> I don't understand the infatuation with Japan. Okay. Like, when did Japan, like, become the place of, like, oh, my oh. God, Tokyo. Like, <laughs> this is so good. Like, the bright lights of the Tokyo city and shit like that. And Because I see this, there's this video game guy that I follow. And every so often he has a, um ad for, like, Tokyo treats. It's like, they send candy and snacks from Japan to, you know, to you. And okay. it's like a, like a random snack box. And it's like, oh, have you ever wanted to live or like um, take in the Japan culture, but still like, you know, without having to travel over there? Sure. And they're sending them like random like wasabi fucking flavored Kit Kats or, you know, like uh, rice balls and, you know, just weird bullshit. Fucking octopus flavored fucking gummy bears or some (laughs) shit like that. No, I'm serious. It's all weird shit like that. Really? And I was like. If that's what Japan has to offer, dude, fuck no, that. I don't want to go there. Like, first of all, wasabi flavored anything. First to of me all, yeah, wasabi. Trash. I don't give a shit about wasabi. And me either. I'm cool with just regular chocolate Kit Kat. Right? Yeah. But then on top of that, you're ruining gummy bears by adding octopus <laughs> bullshit in there. Like, I don't want none of that squalene or shit they got. <laughs> squalene. You know? you know what squalene is? No. It's the uh, the mucus that uh, that like they secrete. Oh, what the and fuck? the crazy part is secretion. Here, here's a, here's a little bit of knowledge for everybody. Knowledge the college. So you ever wondered why people compare women's puss to smelling like fish? Uh, now that I think about, I never actually wondered that, but now I want to know. Well, it's because women also secrete squalene. Mm. That's the lubricant that they secrete. Mm. So that's why you. There, there's that smell of like, oh, you fucking, you smell like fish, you know, because <laughs> it's it's the same secretion. Wow, not exactly, but you know, close enough. I've never heard that before. Yeah, there's your random fact for the day, folks. That is a very random fact. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else was like, I don't know if I want to know that either. <laughs> the next time they're like, Are you wet? You can ask her. Are you squalened up? <laughs> <laughs> oh no i uh, i mean again i think i think it goes back to i think it goes back to the obsession with japan 
I think it just literally just goes back to just it's just easy programming, man. It's just easy programming. Like let's program people to think that Japan's this great place, but aren't they like a communist country or some shit? No, I don't think no. so. I think I are think they're like a republic. Are they a republic? Yeah. That's, I have that's China. Actually, yeah. And then the uh the upper Korea. Upper Korea. <laughs> yeah, not the one my wife was at. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because uh, it wasn't like Japan's president just killed, like, or former president or whatever. There's been a lot of presidents killed in the past few years. Let's just put it that way. I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. Tune in next week for a conspiracy <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, like, there was, like, video of it, too. Like, because there's, like, no guns. It, really? Yeah, there's no guns allowed in uh, Japan. Sure. So this dude, like, made his own little, like, I want to say, like, you know, handgun sized shotgun. Was it, it like a 3D gun? No, it was made out of like wood and like a pipe and like some tape and shit like that. What the fuck? And he put like nails or, or glass or something in it. That way when it fired, you know, it was kind of like a shotgun. Oh, it just shot out a bunch of glass? Yeah, and so he like walked behind him while the dude was like delivering some speech on the sidewalk or whatever. He just walked behind him and psh, got his ass. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. So you still can't get rid of guns, even though you got rid of them. No. Makes sense. I mean, if you've seen a gun before, you kind of know how to make one. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, did you know you can download, um, you can you can literally get instructions to 3D print guns. Yeah. Um, I see this guy on Twitter all the time talking about it, and he's always like advocating it. Yeah, get your yeah. own 3D printer. You 3D can make printer. whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. And you can just download the instructions on how to do it, and what you have to make and stuff like that and how mm. to make it like yeah. literally you can make an ak-47 like yeah i'm gonna have to bl- blurt that out uh, yeah ak-47 <laughs> <laughs> dislocations <laughs> yeah i saw Broke this guy ball. he uh he makes like toys okay uh he'll like download random files from whoever uploads them wherever and uh he made like his own transformer really yeah he made like all the separate parts and then you just kind of like pop them in and then it transforms hmm. which is pretty cool and, and then he also uh, he also made like a little like octopus where like the arms are all like articulated and everything and okay it's it's like meant for like kids to like hang on their uh, on their wing their their like little crib or bed or whatever that way that when they hit it like the arms and everything moves okay okay yeah it's just there's no squaling in that one no squ- oh god <laughs> oh man all I know is like you're gonna catch some heat for that squaling man yeah you know what like I said I gladly accept the heat somebody's got to be the heel. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. I got okay. nothing to lose anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like uh, because you you got you caught heat from that from those two people, and I had a friend that kind of indirectly uh, kind of said something. Uh, oh yeah, or he didn't a, say he, much. He was a collector too. He's right? A, he's a big collector, and I totally forgot about it. And he was like, "Yeah, it was cool." And I was like, "Oh, cool, man." And he was like, "Yeah, there was a," and he didn't, he kind of told me some other stuff, and I was just thinking like, "Oh shit, I forgot he was a collector." So he's probably <laughs> listening like. I'm a collector. Like, what, what does he collect? Um, he collects all kinds of stuff. Like, he's uh, a pennies. No, 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 no. It's more gaming stuff. He's more of a oh. gamer type of guy. A um, lot of lot of gaming stuff. I'll tell you what, gaming collecting. I can understand that as long as you're playing the games. Oh, and he is. Okay, absolutely, absolutely. See, the, I'm not against all collecting. I'm just against <laughs> some certain, collecting. Yeah, oh. I'm just against collecting that you're not going to use. Sure, like. You don't even play with Funko Pops. You know what I mean? Like, they're just there sitting, taking up, you know, it's just matter that's taking up space. But at least with games, you know, oh, I feel like playing fucking Star Fox today, you know? Sure. Whip out the N64 and my wiener and let's get to playing. (laughs) My wieners? I guess I could understand that too, because then at the same time, like, I, I, so with Funko Pops, at least, at least the display of some sort would be cool. If there was a point to it, and it was a nice display, like if you just have a shelf with Funko Pops on it, just by itself, like I don't understand the art in that. Like, isn't yeah. that what the whole point of a collection would be? Like, especially display. I would think so, right? It would definitely have or at least to be about sell the it artist. later on. Yeah, or sell them, whatever. But it's like if I was collecting something, I would want like a nice display to display what I've collected, mm-hmm. not just fucking boxes of. Bobble is bobbleheads yeah. on my whatever the fuck it is. Like, you know Here, what I okay. mean? Like, here's a here's a collection that uh isn't like just a nerdy one like that that I'm against. Shoe collecting. 
collecting sneakers, collecting? Jordans and oh, shit okay, like that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm against that too. Why? They don't wear the shoes. Yeah, that's true. They don't wear them. Oh, I don't want to crease them. Fuck you. Any shoe's going to crease when you take take 10 steps in them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Sure, sure. What's the point of paying $380 for a pair of Jordans if all they're going to do is just take up space in your closet? Yeah. In the box too. You don't even display shoes like that. I agree. That's actually funny because then it's like you have to you have to at least wear them like at least, right? Yeah. Like, isn't that the whole point? Like I guess if you're like a if you're buying and selling, sure. There's a lot of people who don't buy and sell. It's just like, oh, yeah, I got these new sneakers. Check them out. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's cool, man. What are you going to do with them? I think I'm just, I, I'm a collector. Like, I yeah. collect shoes. Like, okay. They'll like, buy like six pairs, and you would expect, oh, I'll wear at least one of them. Nope. Nope. All six are sitting in their closet doing nothing. I don't, I just don't doing get it. Doing nothing. I just don't get it. And then I've seen videos of like where there's conventions of shoes, oh, like yeah. shoe collectors. And they'll bring shoes, and there's like somebody inspecting them, like, oh yeah, they flip out the tongue, and they look underneath the the fucking soles or whatever, like make sure it's all right and whatever. I'm like, this has gone too far, dude. <laughs> it's just this gone is, too this far. This has really gone too far. It's just gone too far. I don't know. It's I don't know. I, I just don't see the attraction of collecting things. And they'll be like, oh, sell. So I'm sure you collect something. I probably do without realizing it, but. I mean, you can go in my house right now, and there's no, no, there's nothing set up to where it looks like I collect anything. It's just they're like, "Oh, well, your house is probably boring." No, not really. I get use out of all my shit. Yeah, whether well, it's my TV, my Nintendo, yep. my Xbox, my fucking. So you collect gaming consoles? <laughs> my so you DVD collect technology? Player. You collect technology in your house? Oh well, doesn't fucking everybody nerd? <laughs> 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 nerd yeah look how long it took me to get a pair of headphones for my fucking xbox that's true you think i'm a gamer true. yeah right yeah that's true it did take a little bit huh yeah it took me uh being like hey you want to play some apex <laughs> yeah it took forever it did take it a took while. my wife leaving to fucking south korea <laughs> for me to get a headset that Damn. way i can at least talk to somebody so, yeah. <laughs> besides my dog that's true that's true and he's so, probably yeah? a good listener too oh she's a great listener yeah yeah, she actually listens to what I say. Hey, get over here. Get yeah. out of there. <laughs> you know, shit like that. Eating, eating everybody's pizza and shit. Oh, oh yeah, wow. tell that story. Okay, so it was, what was it, a Saturday night, and what, did we, we went to go watch a pay-per-view at your house, right? Um, SummerSlam? I believe it was SummerSlam. So okay. it was, uh, it was the, the, the squad of the Fatal 4-Way from last week, and... So we no no it was it was just three of us not R J S J R J R J S J R J he wasn't there yet, but so we had pizza and like your dog is very rambunctious yeah. and well she's a puppy so she'll be like all in your fucking face she doesn't fucking care right <laughs> and again yeah I'm not saying anything bad she's fucking no puppy. I'm just giving context to absolutely to the she's a puppy and so I went and got a piece of pizza and I'm like fucking hungry right <laughs> and I go to sit down. And as I'm sitting down, I'm, I'm like, very distracted because, like, you have to make sure that, like, you know, you're sitting down in the right spot. You know what I sure. mean? Like, you have to look to see where you're sitting down. Make sure there's nothing there. Like, your phone's not on there. There's not another piece of pizza right there. You know, you have yeah. to make sure. So I'm distracted trying to sit down and I look over as I'm sitting down and she just <laughs> grabs on the piece of pizza and takes off. The whole slice, right? And the whole damn slice. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> Well, uh, when uh, you guys came over and, and James was uh, going to stay the night, uh, we had pizza again. Right. And he brought pizza over, and uh, he's sitting down with his plate. He had a plate, <laughs> like three slices, right? So he's sitting down, and he had the plate really low. <laughs> and she comes over, grabs a whole slice <laughs> off of his thing, and I just hear him all, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and she's got the whole slice and me, I'm not worried about her eating the the cheese or anything like that. Yeah. Or him being like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm worried about the sauce getting on the carpet. Oh. <laughs> so I go over there. I'm like, hey, give me that fucking pizza. <laughs> so like, she still got it in her mouth, but I ripped off enough of the pizza uh-huh. to where like she's mostly just got the crust. Oh, okay. So then I was like, give me that. So then like, I uh, put it in the kitchen, save for later, you know, when dis- sure. to distract her pretty much. Yeah, yeah. You know? It was a dis- distraction pizza. Distraction. So yeah, she's uh she's two for two. 
for uh, slices every time you guys come over. So And that was right before I got there, too. Yeah. And I literally came in, and then he sat down, and I was like, oh, make sure she doesn't eat your pizza. <laughs> and you're like, oh, it's too late. <laughs> yeah. She already did. I was like, oh, God, Dad. She's a menace. Yeah. So <laughs> next time menace. next time uh, you guys come over, she's probably going to grab uh, RJ slice. Oh, so that's she's true. She's got to get all three of you guys. All right, RJ, you're on watch now. <laughs> you're on fucking watch now. Like, you're done. <laughs> next time you guys come over, he's going to be, like, hella guarding his pizza. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to bite his face. Ah! Yeah, for real. Bro, and then he'll die. Yeah, and then and then he'll die. And then he'll die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? It's me, the Executioner. And listen, we don't have a commercial this week. I know, I know, I know. I get it. You love the commercials and so do I. However, we're going to take this time to bring you a public service announcement. Did you know that the Good Times Podcast has an Instagram? All you have to do is go to Instagram.com, then search up at It's The Good Times Podcast. And from there, you'll be able to check us out on all kinds of different things. First, you can check out all of our posts and all of our reels. Listen, we have some funny stuff on there. Check it out. But you can also check out the other stuff that we offer, such as our link tree. Did you know the Good Times Podcast has a link tree? Yes, it's true. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. It is actually in the bio of our Instagram. From there, you get to listen to our latest podcast. You can check us out on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. You can go back to our Instagram or even go to our Twitter. Yes, we have a Twitter. Isn't that crazy? Either way, go to the link tree. L I N. KTR dot EE forward slash TGTP. It's that easy. From there, you can listen to our podcast on many different platforms Spotify, Apple, Google, Stitcher, Bullhorn, and much, much more. And if you like a little bit of a visual to what you're listening to, you can actually check us out on YouTube. It's right there as well. And it'll play our most recent video. Hey, we appreciate y'all for listening and we love y'all. Thank you. Well, speaking of death, I wanted to bring up something. Um, uh, speaking of menaces and whatnot, here is something that it's kind of like, I would say, it's kind of a topic that might impact your life um, if you're listening to this or has already been impacting your life. Because before, I was actually asking you like whether or not, hey, has uh, somebody died in your family recently? Before I bring this up, pop this up on you. Um, so what I wanted to bring up was simply this. Listen, people put their own feelings on someone who's died, okay? They always talk about, like, he or she would would have wanted us to come together, or they would have wanted blah, 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 you know, all that random stuff. Listen, I'm sorry, but the person is dead. D-E-D. D-E-D, dead. And you don't know Couldn't what Couldn't be f- more dead. <laughs> you don't know what the hell that they want, okay? They they would have been like, yeah, they would have wanted us to come together and have uh have pizza for the last time, you know what I mean? Or or if they would have wanted us to not be mad at each other or they would I'm sorry, but you don't know what the fuck they would have wanted. Exactly. Like let's be completely honest. And they always put their like feelings on the person who's dead. Yeah, and you know who takes like really advantage of that? Funeral homes. Absolutely. You know, if Say, like, they have life insurance, right, for mm-hmm. $10,000 or something like that, $20,000. Oh they will try to milk all of that money out of you, saying, like, you know what? Grandma really would have wanted to have this solid gold fucking casket. It's like, no, she wouldn't have. She'd want to be buried the best way possible. She's fucking dead. Who cares <laughs> how grandma's going to get buried? Exactly. Grandma's not even going to care how she's going to get buried. She does not. And even if they left it in their will... I mean, how are they going to know? Yeah. There's no possible way. Yeah, I think, and it's going to be like, well, it's because it's about respect and da-da-da. Let's be honest. Like, what are you respecting? 
their final wishes. Yeah. Their final wishes is to that they were buried in in a gold casket next to the creek by uh Shaw and Palm or <laughs> you know what I mean? Like who fucking cares? Yeah. Like or not Shaw and Palm, but over there on Palm, but still like And are you even ten years from now, after somebody dies, are you gonna remember what casket they were buried in? Absolutely not. You're gonna remember maybe where they were buried at. Barely. Absolutely not. There's people that funerals I've gone to I barely remember where they're buried at. I barely remember what I was wearing. It's probably black, and that so was it. I was it. say something black, probably. Yeah. yeah. K-Swiss. <laughs> yeah, because of K-Swiss, <laughs> yeah. K-Swiss are back. <laughs> but yeah, you're never going to remember that. Like, oh, so-and-so was buried in a red casket. It had gold handles and, you know, had fucking, I don't know, an army symbol on there, whatever right. the fuck. You know, nobody's so going to know that. You're telling me that I, when I die, I'm going to go to heaven, for those of you who believe in heaven. I'm going to go up to the Paradise Island Hell. up there. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to Paradise Island up there, and they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. But. <laughs> but what if? What if? <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't fulfill my final wishes, and therefore, I'm going to have to get you kicked out of here. Yeah. <laughs> You're going down real. to hell. Yeah, exactly, right? It I'm was in writing. Yeah. And he, <laughs> it was in the will, and he didn't fulfill it. <laughs> and that just brings me to another thing, too. When it comes down to it, when I die, okay, you can you can make this my final wish because this will save a lot of money. Just bury me in the fucking ground with no fucking casket. I don't mm. need a fucking casket to get buried in. Yeah. Just put me in the fucking ground. I need to be one with nature. Because if you think about I mean, if you think about it, like what are caskets going to do for nature? What are caskets going to well, do for the Well, the caskets ground? now, because they're like wood, but they've got like a million coats on it, and then it's got paint, and then it's got, you know, whatever fucking protectant on it, whatever. And then it's got all the, uh, like, frilly shit on the inside, you know what frilly I mean? Frilly shit. You know, like the, the blankets or whatever the fuck it is, to make it look nice? Yeah, yeah. The sheets? The sheets. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that shit doesn't go away. Just give me one of those fucking caskets that uh, Kane got buried in, and fucking, or no, the big Mark Henry one. like the, Yeah, it's the just straight up, like, fucking one. particle board, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's all it is. It ain't worth the damn. Exactly. Give me one of those. Just fucking go steal some wood out the out of my backyard and just make one out of there. I don't give a damn. Yeah. I mean, I've seen um uh, I've seen this thing where you can be buried and it's basically like a hemp sack. Okay. And they bear, they they ball you up inside of this little hemp sack, but they also put in like a a bulb or a, a seed, a couple seeds for a tree. Okay. So that way when you when you decompose like you're feeding this tree and you basically grow into the tree. Yo, like that's perfect. Yeah. And that's how it should and then, be. And then the hemp sack is also biodegradable too. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, the only thing that might still be there is, you know, if you're wearing clothes, but I doubt that they're even going to put clothes on you. So you'll be burying two sacks. That's right. The hemp sack? Yeah. In your sack. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're a dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's true. But well, yeah. I mean, you could be a woman too and probably have us <laughs> some extreme cases sure <laughs> but it's like that's what i think about like a lot of these about being buried nowadays it's like you should be being you should be able to be buried into the ground yeah without all the bullshit around you because mm-hmm. you should be giving back to nature and it's the same thing with and i know people are gonna be like, like but it's the same thing with like our sewage system like we should be literally shitting in the back like in the ground yeah we should be peeing on trees shitting on trees and on the ground in the ground i mean that's where all the fertilizer comes from it's literally our shit yeah our shit fertilizes the ground how do you think people like you know what i mean so then we and then now we have a whole fucking toilet system a whole plumbing system all that shit yo like our crops are literally dying every single year you want to know why because there's not enough shit on the ground what do you think they do with all of our shit somebody drinks it (laughs) well Okay, so if you think about it, when it's going to the the you know processing plant or you know the water treatment plant, right? Mm-hmm. There's solids in there still floating around, whether it's paper, shit, throw up, fucking wipes, yeah, you know whatever it is, condoms, yeah. whatever people, goldfish, oh, yeah. whatever people flush it down the toilet, right? Yep. Uh, obviously, there's got to be some kind of like netting or grating or something that catches all the solids, right? Mm-hmm. And then when they take the solids out, what the fuck do they do with all those solids? Do they like turn it into fertilizer somehow? Maybe. Honestly, I I probably 
and then they just resell it back to us. We should or take a tour of the water treatment plant. Oh, just to see what no. they do with all that shit. They probably wouldn't let you in there with all the fluoride. Oh. No, you'll see them like putting the little drops of fluoride in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're uh, they're using dye or something like that cuz the, yeah. the water is actually green, but they had to uh, dye it back to blue. There's an sure. epi- there's an episode of Futurama where they're like going through the uh, sewers or whatever. Yeah. And they're showing the New York water treatment plant and water's brown as fuck, right? <laughs> this guy, he gets a, a little, you know like the little food dye drippers yeah well he puts like one little drop boop he's like there another day's water uh save for new york <laughs> and it did nothing for the water <laughs> yeah dude i mean i i mean there's some water out there that's absolutely disgusting and i was actually having a conversation with a friend of mine recently and um she was like telling me that she would go out to Reedley a lot like when she part of her old job and i totally forgot that years ago i used to work out at a restaurant around in reedley and every time i would go to reedley with this girl we would go eat over in reedley because she lived there and i would just drive to reedley and we would eat every time i would eat food from reedley i would get fucking diarrhea really every fucking time so the first time i went to carl's jr okay i got me some diarrhea and i was like damn you know maybe it was just it's Carl Jr., whatever. I got some diarrhea. Sure. No big Could have deal. been anything. Uh, so the next time, the next time it's McDonald's. Okay. Go to McDonald's. And it's like, I get diarrhea. And I'm thinking, well, it's fucking McDonald's, you know? Like, you could definitely get diarrhea from McDonald's. Sure. I right? mean, you can get fucking heart palpitations from there, too. <laughs> you can almost die from the nuggets. Thank you. The nuggets. The nugs. It. But <laughs> the nugs. But on top of that, we ended up going to this mom and pop diner over there too. And again, like I just get done with my food five minutes later. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Just... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, it's, it's like, it has to be something in their water. Like when you think about it, like it has to be whatever they're, whatever's in their water that they're making stuff with. Like, just not vibing with my own stomach. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to go to three different places, unless there's something in the chicken like or the meat or the bread, I would just have to say it's something in the water because when you're making sauce, when you're making anything, you're going to be most likely using water. You know what I mean? Like for the sauce, to boil stuff, whatever it is, there has to be some type of water there. If I get something to drink, same thing. It has to be some type of water in there. Mm-hmm. I have to be dying. Like You know what I mean? I, I don't know. But water is fucking, there's some water that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, you always hear about like in Mexico, Montezuma's Revenge. You know, don't drink the water when you go to Mexico. Montezuma's Revenge? I've never heard of that. Yeah, they always say don't drink the water when you go to Mexico. Okay. And apparently it's, uh, because Montezuma was the last king of the Aztecs when the uh, Spaniards took over. Okay. And so they always say it's Montezuma's Revenge. When you drink the water there, you get diarrhea. And it's like, a you know, a curse pretty much. And hmm. so, I mean, I've never been to Mexico, but honestly, I'll take on the challenge. I'll drink the water, see what happens. Yeah. You know, because you never know. Like, okay, so like I've been to Arizona before, right? Or if you go to any state, you try the tap water. Yeah. I've been to Arizona. Arizona's water, dog shit, dude. Oh, no. It's terrible. Like, really? it tastes like you're drinking something out of like a plastic pipe. Like, you know, like when you ever go to Home Depot... And for whatever reason, you go into like the plumbing section and you just smell like the plastic, you know, from the PVC pipes and shit like that. Right, right. That's what the water tastes oh, like, dude. No. It's, it's weird. Yeah. And then I've been to, um, I've been to Atlanta before and the water there is like not as bad as Arizona's, sure. but it's, I don't know. It tastes, it tastes like metallic or something. Oh, no. Yeah. It's weird. But it's weird, like, when you drink tap water here, like, it doesn't have that flavor, but it could be we're just used to it. Maybe. Yeah. So, Maybe. I mean, if somebody from, you know, fucking Arizona comes over here, they might be like, oh, California water sucks. Yeah. So, I mean, you never know. Well, that's, oh, you know what? That kind of reminds me of, what was it? Was it like a, there was a death at some hotel in L.A. like a, a while back, and... It was like a it was like a haunting one that that happened, but they found the girl in like the water 
system up top of the hotel. Yeah, that was a like a big old thing because I think like Netflix or Hulu did a special on her. Yeah, it was. She like, like was last seen in a in a elevator yeah. and like they thought she went crazy and then like days later. People are turning on their water and it's like fucking like orange and shit. Yeah, and dude, she's like, like in the water tank somehow. Oh god. That's so weird, it man. It is very weird, man. Somebody somebody right now is listening to this, it's like, it's the fucking fucking case. You know, like <laughs> they're like, it's her name. I'm like, yo, calm down. Like, we don't remember everything, okay? And you know what? I <laughs> we bet remember you... Squalene and Montezuma's revenge. We just don't remember this bitch's name. Sorry. And and I'm gonna I'm just gonna like bring this all full circle. If there's a water collector out there, hey, oh let us know. God. I want to see all the different waters. Yo, you know what? <laughs> the water boy, Adam Sandler water boy. Remember he <laughs> yeah. had that water from like Ale- the some, a- some a mess Eskimo in Alaska or whatever yeah. the fuck? Yeah. He's from a glacier in Alaska. <laughs> That's a water I want to try, fuck dude. Fuck yeah, it looked amazing. That water looks so good. It looked like, absolutely It's all amazing. glowing blue and shit yeah. like that. <laughs> it looks like the best water ever. Oh, fuck yeah. But dude, some of the worst water ever. I don't know if you've seen like... Uh, I don't know if it's Louisiana or Georgia or somewhere like that. They had like some kind of, uh, I don't know, flooding or, or fucking hurricane or something like that. It wasn't Florida. But apparently their water was so bad that they were straight up telling people like on the news and like doing emergency broadcasts like, hey, don't drink the fucking tap water. Yeah, It's like contaminated with like sewage and shit like that. And Jesus. so then I saw this video of this lady. She's going to um, where they're passing out uh, cases of water bottles. Yeah. And she's like, yo, I just fucking paid $112 for my water for this past month. And now I can't even use my water. And they're going to charge me the same amount for next month. And I'm not even using the water. I can't take a shower. I can't wash my dishes. Like all this shit. Insane. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. Like, I remember somebody saying there's going to be water wars in the future. Absolutely, dude. For sure. Absolutely there is. Unless. But what if? But what if? I don't know if you remember, but in Saudi Arabia last year, they were like, yeah, we haven't had water, like rain in forever. So what they did was they sent the ass ton of drones into the sky. Ass. And, um, like, shot positive um fucking like neutrons or protons or whatever the fuck into the clouds Mm -hmm. and it made rain yes and it rained for like five days straight Mm -hmm. why the fuck aren't we doing that here (sighs) like like take take all of the like whatever like you're probably thinking of right now (laughs) for if they were really for like oh like our crops are dying yeah oh we don't have any water in the canals Oh, we don't have like the uh, what is it? Lake Mead. All of a sudden, everybody's concerned about Lake Mead, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lake Mead doesn't have any fucking water in it. They were really concerned about that <laughs> shit. Why not just send a did, hire the goddamn Saudi Arabians to come over here and <laughs> hey, shoot those drones up here and yeah, start in, start in California and just you know head east and go <laughs> to east. go to every fucking state, dude. Except except uh, what is it? Louisiana, because we know their levees can't handle shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I we could definitely talk about that, and 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 I would definitely get into it. It's definitely a lot to un, un unpack, and I feel like I always have a lot to unpack on this damn show, and I don't because it's a lot. But either way, there's it, it's just <laughs> I got nothing like yeah. without getting too far into it. It's it you like you see the technology that's out there, and I'll just say this. Um, I've been talking about weather modification for fucking years and years and years now, and other people have too. And for those of you who called me a conspiracy theorist, well, fuck you. It's now a conspiracy <laughs> realist. Yeah, I saw a meme and it said, uh, when the conspiracy theorists are getting too many things right. And it's like, <laughs> and it's this dude, he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of that. Like, make sure you have at least one conspiracy theorist in your uh, friend in your life because yeah. they're going to be telling you, like, what's to come. They're going to be telling like you that. what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Like, I look back at some of the messages I've sent people and it's like, yeah, it's like, fuck. Like, yeah. We we're just, we kind of just, it's not that we called it. It's just like, yo, like, it's a, here's the thing. It's like being a conspiracy, a, a conspiracist, I don't know, truth seeker. I call myself a truth seeker, sure. but. I, I I don't say all these things to like, oh, well, it, it, this is what's going to happen. So, you know, I want it to come true. Like, I'm not in fucking bed praying like, oh, well, I hope we all get COVID <laughs> vaccines and that we yeah. all die. You know what I mean? Like, 
I'm not in bed praying. I for hope that shit. whoever got one dies. You know, <laughs> that way they see the truth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure. We're really hoping that. Yeah, and then at that point, then their mom or dad can start uh, telling us about you know what they would have wanted when oh, they're being buried dude, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, because it always gets ugly after somebody fucking dies, dude. dude. It always gets ugly. Always man. gets ugly. It's like. Everybody fights for their fucking, you know, oh, I'm going to get their car. No, uh, well, I'm going to get the house or. Well, maybe not always. Like, but Okay, a lot of times. A lot of the There's times a lot of times where you hear about people fighting over that or, uh, you know, like it happens with a lot of like older, older people. I'm talking about like people that are like 65 plus right now. Yeah. Um, basically like the baby boomers. Sure. Because a lot of them were hoarders. Yep. And they just have so much shit in their garage or, or their extra bedrooms. Mm-hmm. That like their kids and their grandkids are going through the houses and they're just like, yo, well, there's like fucking five pairs of boots in here that <laughs> grandpa never even wore. Right. You know, like, okay, so when my grandpa died, they found a boot with like a couple thousand dollars in it Damn. just sitting in the in the closet. No way. Yeah. My dad found it, I think. Holy and then he called shit. my uncle and he's like, hey, look at that right there. And so then my other uncle's all like, holy shit. So like they finally took it out and they're like, oh my God, like what the fuck? There's fucking yeah. money in there. And yeah. her dad's like, oh, hey, more Natty Light. Let's yeah. go. Hey, let's, let's, buy some, let's buy some beer while we're at it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Is it money? Oh, let's go get some beer. Yeah, you know, money means beer, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. We'll have a good time. Who knows what we might find? <laughs> oh, man, your dad's hilarious, man. I see him every time we have a, a training over there at St. Helens, man. And mm. He's always saying so. You talked to Sal lately? Uh, yeah, I just talked to him yesterday. Oh, man, that guy doesn't even call us anymore. <laughs> Every fucking time, man. That's such Every bullshit, too. <laughs> I haven't heard from him in like three weeks, you know? Like, Yo, just... they say that to everybody. <laughs> they say that to everybody, dude. I'm and serious. And mom back there like, <laughs> no you know what she says the same thing sometimes too she's like uh, well he hasn't called in forever <laughs> <laughs> like like what uh, like when janet would call or something like that yeah was, she's like oh it's about time you guys call or, oh or check God, in dude. i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> we just called you yesterday we just <laughs> had real. the same conversation but yeah That's we called you, you almost the exact same time last week or something <laughs> like that or we were just over there for dinner yeah but that was last week <laughs> oh my goodness man every time right yeah, it's crazy, man. And um, speaking of death, death, I got something to add to death. Oh yeah, yeah. My dog murdered a squirrel. No way. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, she caught her first squirrel, and I was just in my bedroom, laying on the bed. Rest in peace to Squirtle. Yeah, and uh, hang moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even Sorry, it. squirrel. We tried. Oh, man. Anyway, so I'm sitting uh, on my bed. I'm just kind of scrolling through through my phone, and I have the window open so I can see her running around and doing whatever. Sure, and sure. And I saw her sitting by a tree for a while. Okay. And I was like, oh, there's probably a squirrel there. And she's, you know, just staring at it, you yeah. know, doing whatever. Well, maybe like 15 minutes goes by, and I see her just like running around, like <laughs> just trotting, like not yeah. full speed or whatever. Sure. Just kind of trotting around. And I oh. see something in her mouth, and I'm like, oh, she probably dug up another fucking stick. or Because we used to have a tree way in the corner. And every so often, she'll go back there, and she'll dig, and she'll pull out like a big chunk of like wood from the, the tree stump that's oh, really? like, still okay. kind of in the ground. Nice. And she'll always bring it out, and she'll just you know chew it. Cool. And so I'm like, oh, she fucking dug up another stick. And then I see like something hanging from like the side, uh, and it's like jiggling back and forth like while she's running and i'm like oh fuck that's a squirrel tail no. <laughs> yeah so i go out there and i'm like oh shit so i walk out there and uh my other smaller dog comes with me and she sees that the that uh, the bigger dog has a squirrel okay so she goes over running to her and i'm like no <laughs> get over here <laughs> and so uh no. so my dog is a german shepherd so she's a, a fairly good sized dog sure and so she's running around and the she's like, bitch. she's like trying to jump on me because she usually just jumps on me like all excited when yeah. I'm outside. But she's trying to jump on me with this squirrel in her mouth. <laughs> Ooh, look what I got! Yeah, no. ex- exactly. Like Stay all away. excited, like look what I got! I finally got him. <laughs> and I'm like, no, get off of me! I'm like, don't you jump on me! And she's running around, and dude, it, it's so funny because she's got her ears back and she's like wagging her tail, like she's so excited. And so then I get the shovel. I'm like, I got to fucking get it out of her and, you know, throw it in the fucking garbage can or whatever. And I got the shovel and she's still trying to jump on me. And I got the shovel. I'm like, get away. (laughs) And so then uh, I'm like, hey, put it down. Put it down. 
And so she goes over to the uh, the the step uh, right in front of the uh, the back door. Okay. And she sets it down, super gentle. Oh my goodness. And you know how like when cats, you know, bring you like a present, you yeah. know, they'll put it there and whatever. And and I feel like that's what she was doing. She's like, oh, like I got you a present, Dad. Here's oh, a fucking yeah. mangled squirrel body. <laughs> you know. So you just look at the squirrel. Like, eh. Oh yeah, dude. And it was a big fucking squirrel. Was it? And because Besides we, Bonnie? <laughs> we also have a, a pecan tree in the back. Okay. So they've been eating the shit out of pecans lately. Sure. It's almost hibernation season. Yeah. So this yeah. dude was fattening himself up. Oh yeah. And I think that's why she finally got him. Oh. Dude was a little bit too heavy. A little too heavy. He slowed dude. down, you know. Yeah, he tore his ACL on the way out. Yeah. Like, oh no, I'm not gonna make and it. And so so she set it down and I got it and you know, I threw it in the garbage can. Yeah. Well, let's fast forward a week. Oh god. And uh, I'm in. I think I'm in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm eating a bowl of cereal in the kitchen. Oh jeez. And so this is maybe like four o'clock in the afternoon, and all I hear is ee, ee, ee. <laughs> sounds like Mini Me from like, you know, the Power. <laughs> it does, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh fuck, she's got another fucking squirrel. Oh shit. I go outside, she's got the squirrel uh like in her mouth, and then she'll like throw it. The squirrel's still alive. Oh but she either fucking like broke its back legs or like she hurt it enough to where like its back legs didn't work. It's immobile. Yeah. And so like she's still kind of playing with it, expecting it to get up and like move around. Yeah. But it's really only using its front legs oh, and like geez. its head. Oh jeez. And I'm like, oh fuck. I'm like, just kill it already, please. I <laughs> just ended put him out end of its, its misery. End its life, right? Yeah. Because she and and then at some point she's like, all right, it, it's not playing with me, so I'm gonna stop playing with it. Yeah, yeah. So she's just kind of like walking back and forth between me, the tree, and like you know, every so often like taking a sniff at the squirrel. Right. The squirrel's just laying there. Jeez. And I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna have to murder this thing. <laughs> so the same shovel that I got for the other squirrel. Oh jeez. Uh, I got it. I was gonna get it. She comes and swoops it back up. The dog. Oh. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so then the squirrel, because it's still trying to survive, yeah, it bites onto her collar. And because its back legs don't work, it's holding onto her collar with her with its arms and its teeth. Oh. That way it doesn't fall off of the collar. Yeah. Because my dog can't get to it if it's right underneath, if it's on her chest. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh fuck. So I see the squirrel just hanging from her collar. And I'm like, Please don't bite the dog. He has a squirrel chain. <laughs> Please don't bite the dog. Oh, my God. So then I'm like, Leela, get over here. So I get her over here. I get the shovel, and I have to, like, swat the squirrel off of her collar. So I have to hit it, and it goes, oh, and it goes on to the, to the, uh, the dirt. Yeah. And I'm like, Leela, get away. And I told her to go inside the house. So she goes inside the house, and I felt so bad doing this, dude. You had to kill it. I had to kill it. Yeah. And... I had to get, I got the shovel and just went boom oh. right on his head. And dude, fucking brain just flies everywhere oh. and shit, dude. And yo, know, I'm not a, I'm not a violent person. Yeah, you're not. And I love animals. Like, yeah. I really do. Like, fuck bugs, but I love animals. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I'm a mammal person. How about yeah. that? I hate birds. Animals, yeah. Yeah, birds are useless. Danimals are really good. Reptiles, too. fucking yeah. amphibians, all that shit. They're <laughs> useless, right? Yeah. Cats, dogs, fucking. Bunny rabbits, you know, yeah. shit like that. Cool. I'm cool with them. Cool stuff. I felt so bad killing this fucking squirrel, man. man. Like, I killed it, and I just stood there for a minute. Fuck. I was like, all right. Scooped it up, threw it in the garbage can. Was that your first kill? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And in my own backyard, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, if it was a rat, I don't give a fuck about rats either, but a squirrel, dude, which is just basically a tree rat. Yeah. But still, like, tree you know... It's it's still a living animal, and sure, and yeah. I felt so bad having to man. kill it, man. Like I can understand hunting. Like if I went hunting or fishing, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna eat that shit, right? Right. You're not gonna eat a squirrel. I mean, I'm not from fucking. I'm not a Cajun. You know? <laughs> but yeah, dude, I I felt terrible killing this goddamn squirrel. Yeah, and I have yet to kill like anything like that. I think the closest thing I got to was a rat like a long time ago when I just fucking you know just took it out yeah. but I, I do remember one time um we had our dog that took out a cat this was a long time ago this is probably like 15 years ago if anything maybe further than that it's 15 16 years ago one of our dogs took out a cat and the cat's just like laying there 
and it's still alive. But oh no! It can't do anything. And then my brother's just standing there, and he was like, "I'm gonna have to kill it." And I'm like, "I'm gonna have to kill this fucking cat." Like, I'm, what do I do? Like, do I watch? Do I walk away? Like, and then he was going to do it, and the cat just died. Like he said, he just saw the eyes just go away. Like, oh yeah, like, lights gone. turn off. He didn't huh? have to do it. And I was like, lucky. "Man, yeah, you got lucky." Cause yeah, I don't know if I would have been able to do it even at that time. I think at that time I was probably like fourteen, uh, fifteen, maybe even younger than that. I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Fuck that. Yeah, dude. And there's cats that kind of like run in my backyard too. And then like every so often when I let the dog out, yeah, you know, there's like a cat, you know, sleeping underneath the bush or something like that. Yeah. God, if it got a, if my dog got a cat, dude, I would feel so bad. Yeah. Because I'm I'm really a cat person. Yeah. Because I grew up with cats. I had a cat for like. 16 years dude shit and you know that cat was like my best friend dude because right. you know fucking i grew up with her mm-hmm. and god if she killed the cat dude i'd be so upset <laughs> yeah and now if you uh if you ever become a serial killer we know that this is where it all started oh right? yeah this is my origin story this is, this is absolutely origin story. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the the, the shovel killer you know I just, <laughs> I just bash your brains out with my scoop shovel it all started in uh <laughs> it all started in July of 2022 when his wife left to South Korea for deployment. From there, <laughs> he grew stir crazy, living by himself, only talking to his dogs. And one day, one uh, hot October morning, or sorry, afternoon, he decided to kill a squirrel. <laughs> And ever since then, his uh, thirst for blood became unquenchable. <laughs> With his trusty scoop shovel, Sal became the scoop shovel killer. <laughs> Coming to Netflix in 2024. Yeah, every, everything, that, uh, everything that he once loved is now t- <laughs> was now his enemy. And he, as he sat in his house, his life took a twirl and spiraled out of control he uh he killed squirrels at first and then he ate them then it was cats and then he ate those too <laughs> he ate them <laughs> <laughs> i don't know just fucking random <laughs> look at eating squirrels dude. Oh, That's so Jack, the, the, what did you call yourself the shovel cereal the, scoop, killer? Sho- the scoop shovel killer the sh- the sh- damn it scoop shovel killer there you go it's a tongue twister oh my god not the damn tongue twister speaking of eating um are there any restaurants like that are like major chains that you've never been to? Because uh, I passed by Outback Steakhouse today. Oh, okay. I've never been there, and okay. everybody tells me it's dog shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. But I hear it's like expensive as fuck. It probably is because you're paying for the name of you know. Well, welcome to the Outback. I think I, I can't th- do an Australian accent. <laughs> fuck those guys. Um, I think that I went there one time. And it was like for an Herbalife thing. Either that or we showed up and we were like, eh, it's too long and we left. Either that. I can't really remember. But mm-hmm. I would say like uh, big places, probably like a lot of steakhouses I haven't been to. Um, let's see. I would say, oh, stuff like Shake Shack, Whataburger. I always hear all about those things. Uh, when I was in Arizona, I tried a Whataburger. How was that? Not bad. Not bad. It's better than In-N-Out or what? No. Because no. uh, you hear all the people over there, oh, it's way better. I like their know. fries. Their fries are pretty good. That's their burger's a good size. It's about the same size as a, a Whopper, maybe. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good size. But, though. I mean, eh, it is what it is. Wait, how what was the price like? I'd say it's comparable to, I think, Carl's Jr., maybe. Okay. Carl's Jr. prices. Yeah. That's kind of expensive. Kind of. Yeah. Because Carl's Jr. has gone up. Oh, because absolutely. Because they were already, they're already like a little more expensive than most of them. Because it's... Bigger, bigger portions, and it's real meat. Well, yeah, for the most part, the meat. meat. Yeah, meat. It's not just a bunch of bugs and <laughs> yeah, bugs. <laughs> yeah, not just a bunch of cricket meat. <laughs> yeah. Um, Arby's. When's the last time you've been to Arby's? Oh, it's been years. When's the last time anybody went? Because you always hear that. When's the last time anybody went to Arby's? Yeah. How are these things in business? Whatever. Yeah, but that's... I'm sure there's some people that really fucking dig that roast beef. Maybe I have yet to have the roast beef. I've never had it from there. Is that what they're known for? Their signature roast beef sandwiches. Like it's basically like deli meat, kind of. Okay, but like fast food version, and it's hot. Well, I just remember they were doing um they were doing sliders or it was like a slider. Yeah, they they were doing sliders for a while, and they just came out with it. This was like 
I would say this is about four or five years ago, maybe three or four or five years ago, something like that. And they were they came out with sliders, and that was the last time I went because I was like, oh, they're like these little sliders. They had like a pizza slider, they had like a chicken slider, and like other things. Okay. So I was like, fuck yeah! So I went and got like six of them or something. I don't know. I probably got more than that. I was fucking huge at the time. Huh. Um, but yeah, and it was you got seven. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and honestly, not that good. Anytime no. I've gone to Arby's, it's never tasted. Their like curly fries though are bomb. Are they? Yeah, I've never really. They sell uh, they sell them in like bags at the at the grocery store, oh. like how Rallies does. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're curly fries, so like they're seasoned and curly, so they're really good. But last time I had Arby's was this podcast I was listening to. They were sponsored by Arby's because they came out with these, like, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, they had their um, their boneless wings like during the summer, oh. and I door dashed them. And so I was like, there's no way I'm going to Arby's. Yeah. So it was like five bucks for like a 10 piece. Okay. And uh, Buffalo style. Oh my God, they were great. Really? They were fucking good. Mm, those were some good ass wings. I don't know if they still have them. Yeah. But holy shit, dude, those were good ass wings. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So they got those right, man. Yeah. You know, we got the meats. We got the meats. Yeah, they were good. Um, Chili's? When was the last time you've been? To, have you ever been to Chili's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just at Chili's. Welcome to Chili's. Which, because I always get them mixed up. I always get Chili's and Applebee's mixed up. Really? I, I get them mixed up all the fucking time. It's pretty much the same thing, except I think Chili's is like more Tex Mex food, right? I don't know. To me, it looks like. Or Ar- uh, Arby's. Uh, <laughs> or <laughs> Apple Bar. Apple Barbies. Apple Barbies, yeah. <laughs> Applebee's is more like appetizers, I think. Yeah, maybe. Endless apps and shit like that. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I w- actually, the last time I went to Chili's was like a month ago. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, over at the Hub, we usually do like a deep clean with like the whole team, and then uh, Sylvester will take us out to like a spot to go eat after and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Show his appreciation. That's cool. like that. That's good. So we ended up going to Chili's. Uh-huh. Pretty good. And um, I think I had the, um, what was it, like the brisket burger or something like that they have a brisket burger there it's pretty good they have a uh, uh, last I time i went it was a quesadilla burger so oh. like the bun was like a quesadilla pretty much really? on both sides yeah and that was pretty good because they put like some like i don't know chipotle sauce or something okay. like on top of the meat and that was fucking good hmm. hella good um when was the last time you went it was years ago maybe like 2018 something like that okay. it's, it's been a long time Damn. yeah yeah tgi fridays you ever been there? Yeah. But shit, it's been a long time. Probably since like the beginning of Herbalife days. So that oh, had wow. been like eight, seven, eight years Last ago. Last time I went there was uh was for Janet's sister's birthday. Uh, for some reason she was like, Yeah, I want to go to TGI Fridays. They have good drinks. Went there, the drinks were bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It was it was just ass. ass. You know who has really good drinks? Ass. Applebee's. Yeah. Applebee's has really good drinks. They Fuck have yeah. a they have this thing called the the perfect patron. And it's uh, hmm. Patron Silver, Patron Gold, and Patron uh, Orange, which is like, um, they call it something, Citronage, I think. Hmm. And it's like orange liqueur. Really? And, you know, they shake that shit up and put it in a martini glass. Fucking amazing, dude. Wow. Yeah. That sounds really good. Yeah. Applebee's gets their drinks right. And you know what's funny? I got a funny story about uh, Applebee's. One time I went with David. <laughs> and if anybody knows David, David's like, you know... I don't know. He's really like he likes like that whole like animated fucking shit like that, right? Yeah. Like the people being animated. Yeah. And so this server, he comes up and he's like, he's like, "Hey guys, how you doing? What can I get you to drink?" <laughs> and so like David just falls in love with this guy oh, instantly, no. right? And uh, he's like, "All right, so uh, I got some appetizers. I got the nachos, and then I've got the uh, fucking fried zucchini. <laughs> and who got the sliders?" <laughs> So then uh, he gives whoever had got the sliders, he puts it down, he's like, here you go, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Straight up sounds like the dude from NBA Jam, okay, right? Okay, great. And David is like fucking <laughs> obsessed with this guy for saying boom, shakalaka. And uh, oh, every yeah. time this guy would come like check in on the table, he'd come and he'd be like chugging his arms like a fucking oh, choo-choo train. My God. And he'd be like, all right, guys, how we doing? I'm just <laughs> chugging along here, chugga, chugga. And so then he'd leave when we say, yeah, we're doing all right. Oh, shit. We order our, our main food, and David's like, all right, hey, hey, do the, do the boom shakalaka. Do oh, it again. Oh, my God. And, uh, and uh, I remember him. He's all like, he's going to do it. Watch. And so then he gives somebody their plate. He's like, oh, who got the casserole? Boom shakalaka. <laughs> and David's like, yes, he did it. I was like, David, what the fuck is up with you, dude? Like, 
this dude is just fucking a freak. Yeah, you know, he's, yeah. just, he's just a weirdo. A freak. He's just a fucking weirdo that happens to be a server, dude. I, and, I don't, then, and then after all that, David left the dollar tip. I, I bet you he left a shitty tip. Either that or he left him the biggest fucking tip ever. And his, and his phone number, call me. Yeah. <laughs> Something yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. He left Say boom, shot lo- a hey, locker for my voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It was fucking weird. I could it, was, def- it was funny, but it was just weird. That that is uh that is definitely David for sure. And then and yeah. then and then turns out that um the guy is a serial killer and and uh <laughs> Yeah. He carries a scoop shovel everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's in it's in his uh it's in his uh uh his trunk of his car. Yeah, there you <laughs> yeah. go. There you go. It's in the trunk of his car and uh and David's a personality collector, so you know, he just started oh, saying Jesus. boom shakalaka like crazy after that, you know. Yeah. We need to start asking everybody like what they collect. Oh yeah. You collect? Gum. <laughs> Let us know what you collect, people. Yeah, let us that way. Yeah, that way we can make fun of you. Yeah, was just about this. That way we could talk shit. Yeah. Fuck it. Well, there's nothing else to do. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Go ahead and send it to our email. Good times. Wait, what is it? Uh, Good times. GTP at gmail dot com. There you go. I think it is. Good times podcast. GTP. One of those two. Who knows? (laughs) Well, this is a good place to stop since we have no idea what we're doing anymore. Chris, where can they find you on the social stuff? Oh, shit. Well, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Yeshua for allowing me to do this. Second and second most, my name is Chris. As you guys know, the executioner. You can find me on the social stuff. All you have to do is go to the Insta Grizzle and look up the underscore Herbolutioner, H-E-R-B-A-Lutioner. I don't have a lot of herbs on there, just more of the life of herbs. That's quite it. And then you can also follow me on Facebook if you want. Chris Clips Hernandez, C-L-Y-P-S-E. Find me on there. Um, and if you want to get access to really anything else that I have, Instagram, or sorry, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff, you can go ahead and message me and I'll think about it. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you for all the listeners out there, all the people that are supporting. Again, if you just if you don't have time to listen to us, um, share it with a friend that's all that's all i ever ask you just show somebody hey like check out this podcast i've been telling all kinds of people at the hub we've been getting a lot of people from there that i'm like that are like yo you guys are different you guys are doing something different this is super cool love it awesome and then we catch heat and it's even better so i'm all for it and i just yeah again thank you for all the listeners out there this is super cool appreciate it what about you say y'all where can they find you well you can uh, go to my instagram uh at b-s-a-l-s-a-n-c-h-e-z and uh, I got a link tree there, so click on that little link tree, and uh, it'll give you all my other stuff. My uh, Twitter, where you can send your hate tweets uh, if you're a collector. I'll gladly accept them, and I'll reply back to you about how your collection is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's also a uh, uh, a link for my T Public, where I put up all my little designs and stuff like that. And I just made a new one. Uh, if you listen to my uh, our story about how I broke my arm playing Monopoly. Well, there's a sticker now that says Monopoly broke my arm. So <laughs> if you want that sticker, uh, I'd gladly, uh, I'd gladly uh, thank you for supporting me. If you do support me, getting that sticker. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it. And then don't forget to uh, follow the show at It's the Good Times Podcast on Instagram. And from there, you can share the clips or share the reels, um, share the pictures, do whatever. Just share it to somebody. And um, let's you know get us out there, man. Help us out, and you know we'll appreciate it. And you know, we do this for free, and we all we ask is you share it in return. That's um, right, and we have a link tree now, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Good Times Podcast has a link tree, too, now. Uh, it's in the Instagram, so go check it out. And uh, I think that's that's it. We can wrap it up. So like see you Willie. next week on another episode of Good Times. Good Times.